Here's one that was pretty good on its first go around, but people always want more. And I'm here to see if Subaru delivered on that ask, which is why I'm standing with the refreshed, redesigned, reinvigorated 2022 Subaru BRZ. This is the second generation BRZ, and anytime a car is freshened up, designers love to make it lower and longer. Same case here with this one. For 2022, the BRZ sits a half inch lower. The length runs an inch longer, and the overall styling gets a new look while retaining the familiar shape. The nose has more distinct headlights and daytime running lights. I like the corner vents on the lower front fascia, and the side vent and lower sill treatment all work well too. The car is also stiffer while sitting at a great curb weight of a bit over 2,800 pounds. Now you can thank the aluminum roof, hood, and fenders for that. Inside, the BRZ graduates to a more premium space. The 8-inch touchscreen is responsive, the digital gauge cluster looks good and is easy to read, and the seats are well bolstered and also quite comfortable even for my 6-foot 3-inch frame. Gone is the 2-liter flat 4. It's been replaced by a larger 2.4-liter boxer 4-cylinder engine. And here, this one is making 228 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. That's a nice bump, but the real news is that the lame dip in the torque curve is gone and peak power comes on much lower. The car feels quicker and pulls harder, and you compare it with a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic. And I'm happy to report that we have the manual version of the BRZ. And even better, it feels great to shift. It's tight, the throws are short, it's all really nicely laid out over here. Now, I've heard that in the automatic version, it's tuned for sporty driving, so that's a good thing to know as well on that six-speed auto. But in this one, this is where the fun is. On top of that, there's more fun to be found at all four corners because this one is wearing the optional Michelin PS4 summer performance tires, and that is just a ton of grip. I remember when the BRZ first landed, everybody gave it a little bit of guff because it had Michelin primacies on it, which are basically the similar tire you're gonna find on the JDM Prius. The funny thing about that is those tires were actually tons of fun too because you had less grip and you got to slide the thing around a bit more easily. But here with the Michelin, it feels like you just point this thing into a corner, it grips, it goes, and that is just a different type of fun, but still a whole lot of fun. So it's not available yet, but another good thing to keep an eye out is that Subaru will offer a performance package version on this, and we're gonna see things like more aggressive brakes and probably a suspension tune as well, though the suspension here is pretty good, as is the handling, as are the current brakes. As it sits before we even get to that package, this thing is a blast to drive. There are five different driving modes to fine tune how the car behaves around you too, and if you really want to, you can just turn it all off. And then even better, on top of all that, yes, it keeps, I keep saying better and better because it's true, a limited slip differential is standard kit. The BRZ is an entertaining machine and it starts under $30,000, which is a miracle these days. The base BRZ will run you $28,955. That's the premium model. Jump to the limited for $31,455 and you add the summer tires and 18-inch wheels as well as blind spot monitoring. If you want the automatic, it's an extra $1,600. And yes, I consider that a proper penalty for selecting the wrong gearbox here. No, it doesn't have the turbo some of you hoped it would, but it is a massive improvement over the outgoing model. It's an enjoyable, affordable, rear-wheel drive compact sports car that you can still get with a stick. And now it has a better cabin nicer tech, and it's still an absolutely wonderful machine to drive. The new BRZ is great. 